뉘앙스 그렇죠. 반갑습니다 학생 여러분 자 오늘은 대학교 다니고 있는 학생들 인터뷰 시간이야 그래가지고 요 학생은 우리가 가르쳤던 학생 우리 프로그램에서 SAT 수업을 듣고 원서도 같이 이제 대학을 가신 학생이 되겠어 근데 출신 배경이 이 남미에서 고등학교 인터내셔널 스쿨 나온 학생이라 가지고 또 이제 그런 또 특이한 배경인데 또 우리 또 글로벌 하지 않겠습니까 여러분 유후. 그래가지고 막뭐 남미 뭐 러시아 학생도 있었고 뭐 유럽 학생 언제나 있고 미국 학생 제일 많고 한국에 있는 학생 제일 많고 근데 아시아 지역은 뭐 항상 언제나 여기저기 있지만 이 남미 지역 학생들이 꽤 있거든 근데 거기에 계신 아버지 어머니가 거기서 사업을 하시나 주재원으로 나가 계시나 그랬던 것 같아요 이제 출신 학생들 인터뷰 시간 되겠습니다 시작합니다 아, 출발 Okay. First question, right? Here. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Which college do you attend? So my name is Regina Kim and I attend UCLA. Good. What do you study at UCLA? Um, my major is pure mathematics and I'm minoring in Spanish as well. Spanish? Is that what you said? Yeah. Interesting. Huh? Uh, what do you like best about your college so far? I really love my um, campus because it's really pretty and huge. And I also like the dining hall since it's number one dining in USA. Number one? Who says it's number one? But dining <laughs> is important. Why not? Right? Yeah, um, it's really famous among our students that it's number one dining halls. Like it's really, like there's so many options. There's Asian food, um, Western food, and like vegetarian food as well. And God, I miss that. Like, right, I know. College really restaurants are the best. 아 얼마 전에 이 유튜브 채널에 아마 이 비디오가 올라갈 때쯤에 여러분 한두달 전쯤 됐을 거다 베스트 칼리지 레스토랑에서 또 찾아가지고 우리가 올린 적 있잖아 근데 UCLA 확실히 거기 들어가 있었어 학생들이 직접 뽑은 최고의 레스토랑에서 대학 몇백 개 설문조사를 했는데 거기 UCLA가 탑 10에 들어가 있던 건 확실한 것 같아 아 진짜 대학교 식당 그립다 그리워 um, Okay, let's talk about high school stuff uh, When you were back in high school Actually, you know what? Let's. Can you tell us about your high school? What What high school did you go to? Um, I went to international school in Lima, Peru, um, and it was American system. It was private school, and every class was in English except for Spanish classes, of course. And we took IB, so the grading scale was from one to seven, and the class size was around 120. 120 students graduating class. Okay. Yeah. So rather smaller size, uh, but. Um, good, good. What What are the colleges you apply to? If you remember them all, please tell us. And then, what are the schools you were accepted to? So I applied to like ten schools, I think, mm -hmm. including UCLA, UC Berkeley, um, Stanford, Northwestern, um, Harvard, Yale, um, UPenn, Columbia, um, U Chicago, and Brown. Which which one did you apply as early decision, and what happened? Um, I applied to Columbia as early decision, and I got deferred. But then in the end, I didn't get accepted. Um, what about early action schools? Did you have any action schools? Yeah, I applied to U Chicago as early action, but I also got deferred, like waitlisted or something. But yeah, I didn't get accepted. I think UChicago does that to everyone who apply to EA option, just defer yeah. everyone. I don't, I don't even know why they keep that option. Like either they should go with the early decision one or regular. I mean, they have every option and then early action. I've never seen a kid who got accepted as early action to University of Chicago. 이 학생은 원서 쓸때딱그 코로나 막전 세계가 다 한번 빡 했을 때 진짜 세게 맞은 케이스 중에 하나거든. 그래서 그 코로나 시절이 지나고 이제 원서가 오는 그 코로나를 맞은 다음에 원서를 쓰는 학생이니까 얼마나 정신이 없었겠어. 그리고 막 레귤레이션도 많고 뭐 하지 못한 것도 많고 막 불안한 요소가 되게 많았을 때 원서를 쓴 거지. 고등학교에 대한 얘기를 조금 더 들어볼까. 여러분 랭킹이나 뭐 이런 거 어느 수준 정도를 해야지 어느 정도에 대한 If you were high school ranked students, what was your ranking like? Um, so we didn't rank throughout the years, but I figured out my rank in my on my graduation day because I graduated as valedictorian. So I found out I was yes, yes. <laughs> um, okay, what what if you remember it? What was your GPA like in high school? So in grade nine, I was um, seven out of seven 
Okay. And <laughs> in grade 10, I got 6.9 out of 7. And then in 11th grade, I was 6.7 out of 7. And then grade 12, 7 out of 7. Right, amazing. Ige 아니야 본인이 생각할 때 근데 한번 들어보자고 어떻게 빨리 적응하고 어떻게 영어로 한 번도 가르친 학교로 다닌 적이 없는데 토종 그냥 로컬 한국 학교로 다녔는데 일반 중학교로 다니다가 유학을 간 건데 잘 적응이 됐는지도 너무 궁금했단 말이지 들어보자. So like I went to Peru when I was in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. So like obviously I was also like I became shy because I was not confident at first. Okay. But then throughout the eighth grade, like I made good friends around me. 8학년에 갔구나. 8학년에. 9학년에 유학 갔었는데 8학년에 갔어. 8학년에 갔고 이제 9학년부터 이제 고등학교 성적이 나오기 시작을 한 거지. And then like if you are good at studying, then your friends like start to like acknowledge you and the teachers start to like like you more, then it's natural to gain confidence. So like if if your friends know like oh she's good at math or oh she's good at something, then that like those things give you confidence. So like when I realized, oh, maybe I am good at this, then that's when I started to like, oh, maybe I can ask more questions. Maybe I can like raise my hands more. So yeah. That totally, that's a perfect answer. I think um, a lot of students can probably relate to what you just said. 많은 학생들 또 우리 부모님들도 고민이신 부분이 열정적인 거. 그러니까 열정이 없어. 그러니까는 이게 물에 물탄 듯 술에 술탄 듯 아이가 그냥 그냥 괜찮은데. 근데 막 파이팅이 없는 거 같다가 고민이신 분들이 있거든. 근데 이게 고등학교 때 정말 파이팅이 있긴 있느냐? 열정이 언제 생겼냐? 막 아기 때부터 막 초등학교 때부터 중학교 때부터 막 그런 거 해야지. 이랬던 사람이만 사람만 있느냐? 아니면은 뒤늦게 가서 조금 찾아주니까 개발이 되는 것도 열정이긴 하냐? 요런 게 궁금한 when did you know that you wanted to study mathematics in college or um you know you wanting to go to a top top university in the u.s like did you where when did you find that passion how did it happen um in high school um so like when i was in korea i actually like didn't like math right. but when i went to peru like the the reason i started like liking math was because Others told me that I am good at math. So like I started getting more confidence and like I wanted to keep up with the expectation that others have about me. So that's why I started like started studying more like more math. And then um, my teacher that who taught me for four years, she kind of changed the way I think about math because like before I thought it was like pure memorization. And like I have to memorize so many formulas if I wanted to like do well in math. But then my teacher taught me that math was about like understanding and we don't have to memorize because I did provide like formula sheet. So that's when I like realized, oh, maybe I like math. And yeah, that's why I chose math in college as well. But like what, you, you know, you, you, you're a good dancer in high school. I remember that. But like even passion for dancing too. Like how do you, how do you keep that passion going? Like what do you what's your what's your secret in that? Um so dance, like I I like dancing since I was really young, but then I really wanted to like wanted to continue dancing. Like even though people say, Oh, you gotta like focus more on studying in high school, like I just didn't want to give up and stop just stop dancing. So I always looked for opportunities where I can perform. And like dancing also helped me like um adopt to the new environment because like when i dance people were like oh my gosh you dance like you're cool so dancing actually helped me like gain more friends in peru gain so i started liking probably yeah yeah so i liked it more and more so i like performed for like south america activities like conference that was held in my school like opening ceremony and then i also like dance for our school's dance festival like as a team as a soloist as a duet like i just 
um, looked for lots of opportunities that were given for me. 자, 요쯤에서 여러분 내가 물었지. 그러니까 이게 이게 전형적인 모범생 스타일의 학생이란 말이야. 진짜 안과 밖으로 열정적으로 막 활동도 하고 공부 진짜 잘하고. AP 학교 다니는 학생들이면은 올 A 플러스라고 생각하면 돼. IB에서 올 세븐을 받는 게 이게 말이 올 세븐이지. 괜찮지 않아? 열라 힘든 거야 이게. 그런데 그거를 하는 스타일의 학생에게 묻고 싶은 질문이 하나 있었지롱. How would you describe yourself? as a high school student what kind of student were you in high school um i would say i was very diligent so i just basically did my best in everything and then i was really curious so i had tons of questions while i was studying but uh -huh. the important thing was that i was not scared to ask them to teachers so i was always like approaching my teachers when they are available and i was also creative So I was like always trying out diverse things and not limiting myself to just like just math or just studying and always looking for more opportunities. So you're on Shigia, your mentoring program at the Roy in the next time that Handaria must be Manasa Yegira one day. It done Hanadu has she kept on a little key giri. We saw John Yuron Saramder Sobel, Choder Jom Hanangoji, Sammy Jang is on a Duriak Sandri, Adadu Jom Choromion in Nende, Halmanaka Kunarago, Duki, Nemini, Kamanisa Sado, Joko, you two Bono Naksang Yorobundo, or Bonga Jom, Mirke Pistamiani, Kunanada, Sikuna, Tareba, Jirago, the Kasam Jokata, Sam to Tampi, the Sashimia Sokako, Mirshima, Tamana, bye bye.